Just so y'all could really see that. I'm not joking. And this heat, I know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Sun is shining. My skin looks flawless. See, I could have, you know, did my contour and stuff like that. If you want to do a little bit. Hey guys, I am in Florida. Um, me and my husband have been on our honeymoon trip for about... Now it's been about almost a week and a half. It's been a while. Like I've been in the Bahamas. I've been in Orlando, Florida. Or the Nassau Bahamas, Freeport Bahamas. We've been literally at sea. Cause we were on a cruise, so we were like in the middle of the sea. And I have learned a lot out here about how to do my makeup in the heat. Like, I mean, obviously I already started I, before I even came on this trip, I started, I brought like, you know, my waterproof makeup and everything like that. Um, I just have a little bit of sip in my eyes, so that's what I'm doing right there. But hubby is in, today is our last day. Hubby is in the shower and I'm using this mirror that they have here um, in the front of the hotel as my makeup station. It's kind of like a vanity. It's got this overhead light right here that's perfect. It's just perfect for makeup. Their bathroom is gorgeous. But today's our last day. I kind of really want to do like a little last minute makeup look. And I want you guys to see how I do my makeup out here in the heat. So I first I use this right here. This is my primer. This is the primer I use when I'm in the States too. But when I was in the Bahamas, this was amazing um i uh, brush my lashes out because i do have on um lash extensions right now and this right here is anastasia beverly hills i don't know what kind of brow product this is but literally it's like a little little teeny tiny spoolie on it and you just run it run it through your eyebrow hairs i noticed that i like doing it this way because it darkens them up so I don't have to go through the whole, you know, trying to fill them in with a pencil situation. This automatically gets them darker. You hear a baby listening to music in the shower now. Oh, no, nah, he listens to the um, Joe Budden podcast. So now both brows are filled in pretty much. And I really don't even have to do anything except for carve them out at this point. But, you know, I'm extra, so I'm going to go a step further. And I'm going to use my, what is this, uh, Benefit, precisely my brow pencil. This one, the um, color on it is a little bit lighter than I like my brows to be, but I do go in and line them with this. Um, what color is this one? Number five. Um... I got this color only because it was the last one they had left and they don't ever have the darkest one in stock when I go to the store. And you know what, when I do Sephora and Ulta, I love to go to the store because I want to try stuff. I don't want to order nothing to have to send it back. I don't want to deal with all of that stuff. I like to try stuff in the store and go from there. I bet y'all wondering what the hell I got on my head. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Okay, so I have box braids for the first time in my life. Like, when I was in middle school, anybody that knows me since middle school can tell you, I used to have my hair braided up. Braided up. My mom did not. <laughs> my mom did not fool around with that hair business. Like, no. I was going to have my hair braided up. And so, um, okay, hold up. Let me, before I finish my story, let me tell y'all about this. Um, this is, um, what is it? Jane Carter Solution Bottle. It's a travel size, but I put my setting spray in here. So y'all don't think I'm spraying hair stuff on my face. The setting spray that I use is Urban Decay D Slick. And that's what's in here. And I just spritz just a little bit before I go ahead and put any makeup products on my face. So I put this on first, this is my primer. Then I put this stuff on, which is the D Slick Urban Decay. I put this on right afterwards. Like right after I'm finished with my brow. These are the tricks that I'm telling you guys about how to keep your makeup on in the heat. When I was in the Bahamas, this is what I did, and it stayed on. The only time it came off was when I ducked my head in the water. The water was salt water. All the makeup came off. Waterproof or not, that mess started melting off my face. It still looked good. Like, I still had a little bit of remnants of makeup, 
But this right here was a lifesaver. This is a moisturizer as well as a primer. So my skin is dry, this really helps. It keeps me matte, but as it, and it keeps me less like oily in the T-zone. Oh, it's great, okay? And this is the D-slip. This, put this underneath your makeup as well as on top of your makeup. These are the tricks of the trade, I'm trying to tell y'all sis. I'm trying to tell you sis. All right, back to my damn story. So box braids, y'all. Um, so my mom, she just, when I was in middle school, um, sixth grade up to eighth grade, all I have was braids. I like, and I have braids with the beads, y'all. Like, people can hear me coming, like, from a mile away. Like, my mama did not play that funny business with the hair. Like, my hair was gonna be up, so she didn't have to deal with it. And so I didn't have to deal with it. So, moving forward, fast forward, like, what, six, seven, eight years later? Since I've been married, I've been married about three years now. Oh, we're going on to three years. Um, but just moving forward, I haven't had braids in like almost eight or nine years. Because after having braids for so many years in, in middle school and elementary school and throughout my childhood life, I was like, oh no, I'm not doing that no more. Like, I was like, I want my hair to be preserved. I want to grow length, you know what I mean? And right now, I'm kind of on a healthy hair journey. And with this journey, y'all, I'm really trying to do better with how I treat my hair and how I grow my hair. Like, I want my hair to grow. I want my hair to be really, it's not, I'm not looking for length. I'm just looking for thickness and healthy hair. Like, my hair is very thin. I have very fine hair. And my hair can easily just rip the hell out. I have that very kinky, horsey hair, but yet thin. Yet thin and fine and just beautiful. Like, when it's curly, it's just like, it's everything when it's curly. So, yeah. I'm on a healthy hair journey. And these box braids were the truth on this vacation. Like, I didn't have to touch my hair. All I did was do different styles. But see, the only thing that I'm worried about is my job because my job doesn't allow me to wear headbands and stuff like that. And I just don't want to deal with people at my job trying to tell me how I can't wear my hair a certain way or I can't wear this bandana or that bandana or whatever. Because as y'all can see, I've been wearing literally like a turban or something every single day I've been on vacation. And that's how I want to continue to wear my hair because I like hair accessories. I don't like boring shit. So, um, y'all probably wondering why I just put on my face. This is my concealer palette that I brought with me. It's the MAC Studio. Everything in here is um, a Studio Fix concealer, I want to say. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all probably know what this is anyways. This is like a six thing, and it's amazing for doing, um, for vacationing. This thing is amazing for vacationing. Like, I'm telling y'all. If y'all don't have this palette while y'all go on vacation, I don't know what the hell y'all doing, because... It is the truth during this vacation because it has every color in it that I need. And I can conceal, I can highlight, and I can contour with this palette. So that's why I always bring it on vacation. I do have my Fenty concealer sticks and stuff too. Y'all gonna see that in a minute. All right. So my um, makeup only takes me about maybe 15 minutes to do because you don't need that much makeup in the heat like who does that like you don't need that because as soon as you start piling on too much stuff i'm about to say the s word i probably already said the s word like five times already but um as soon as you start putting too much makeup on your face that's when stuff is going to start to melt and you don't want that we're about to go to the airport and stuff like i'm not trying to have my makeup just kind of melt off my face so as y'all know i've already got my primer I've got my face setting spray, which literally is a D-slick spray. So basically that's gonna keep my skin from going crazy in the heat. And so now y'all, I've got a little bit of a tan and stuff going on, but y'all can see I'm doing my color corrector on different spots of my face that have like a little bit of darkness. So I'm using the orange one out of the palette to go ahead and do that. Oh, but yeah, I didn't tell y'all, okay. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to get this makeup tutorial done so I can have something to post. And I know a lot of people are vacationing, not just me. And I think this would be helpful so you know what to, what to bring in your makeup bag.
All right. And I'm probably gonna compile a lot of um, stuff that me and my husband did on our trip. But anywho, my head. This is a um one of those dreadlock things from the beauty supply store. Like when I first got my braids, I realized that I can really feel how heavy they are. Like once I woke up the next morning, like everybody was like, "Oh, they're gonna be heavy, girl. They're gonna be heavy." I didn't realize what they were talking about until I really, really, really went in like and wore them for one night and then woke up the next morning. I was like, dang, this is what everybody's talking about. But I bought this thing and it keeps kind of the heaviness from dragging you back. Not only that, but it's good to sleep in. So this is what I've been sleeping in since I've had my box braids because it covers all of the braids and my braids are pretty long. So yeah. So what I did was I went over with this orange color then this color right here is the same color as my foundation so I went over with that. Come on baby it's okay. I'll just probably edit you out. But um, now we're going to get into the foundation guys. Now the foundation that you use is up to you completely. Don't care what you use. But this is what I've been using my entire trip. And I think I've done a few videos on this, but this is the Pro Prolong Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. Now, I will tell y'all this mess is not foundation. This is not waterproof. I can attest to that because as soon as I got in the water, like me and my husband, we did jet skiing. As soon as I got in that water, this makeup was running. Now, I can say that it might have been the fact that I put other stuff over top of my makeup that caused it to do that. I don't know. But I don't think it's waterproof, y'all. And this is the brush I'm using, a stippling, stippling brush. You don't want to use that damn beauty blender. I'm sorry, but to me, I've stopped using the beauty blender completely because it takes off all the damn foundation. Like, what's the point? What's the point in buying foundation, putting it on your face, just for the beauty blender to suck it all up? And don't come at me talking about how you post a wet your beauty blender. I do that too. I get a, normally I get like a little hand towel or something and smush the beauty blender and then put it put it on my face. Or, you know. Put my real bitches up. Box and stuff because if you use a beauty blender, anything that you have on your face, dark spots, stuff that you color corrected, that's all gonna be gone once you use a beauty blender. So don't do that. Okay. While you're on vacation, you want your skin to look snatched and glowy. And that's what I did. Okay? So that was two tricks I showed y'all. This is the third trick. Concealer. Okay, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Concealer. But this is in the color yellow. The color is 345. I'm going to call it yellow because it is yellow as crap. So the yellow concealer is the best concealer for brown skin. Um, the colors I'm using in my foundation is, I wanna say NC50. NC50 is my shade. So if you're my shade and above this yellow concealer, it's gonna be everything. Now, I don't know how it's gonna look on people that are lighter skin than me or whatever. You could try it, girl, it might look good. I don't know, I haven't put it on anybody that's lighter than me. Most of my family that I've tried stuff on is the same shade as me, if not darker, so. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and put that on my face. I kind of let that set a little bit. Um, but y'all can see it's really yellow. Really, really yellow. Beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. Y'all just wait. Okay, so I use this brush right here. This is my Sigma brush. This is a F04 brush. And we just go ham and blend it out. And that's all we do, we blend that mess out. Okay, so I'm gonna just get up in here. Just, I stay in that same location that I put it in and just literally just dab, okay? I'll dab that over the eyelid, the leftover most of the time. That's what I normally do. Because the leftover is good for the eyelid. Because I've noticed my eyelids are a little bit darker than I like them to be. So I'll just go over with concealer. And this is how I get my really glowy under eye and I blend whatever's left on the sides. And then we get our forehead, blend that out, honey. 
and as you can see i really haven't put on that much makeup with my foundation my foundation probably was the most that i put on since i've been on the trip so you can do as light or as much little as I don't know what I'm trying to say, but either you can put a lot on or a little bit. But since we are on vacation and it is almost like 90, 90, 100 degrees outside, no boo. You don't need all that. Okay? So that's another trait. Be light-handed. Anything that's, anything that's left over on the breast, I take that and I put that right above my lip. And that looks snatched. Okay? So now our next thing is contouring. I do contour while I'm on vacation. I contoured when I was at the beach and it looked damn good. Okay, so here we go. Right above the orange color, there is a contour shade right there. So I forgot my um, contouring Fenty stick. So I've just been taking this angled brush, it's really fluffy, and I've been just going right on in that um, contour shade right there. I kind of dab it a little bit. I'm gonna dab it on both sides because I put a lot on there. You don't want a lot of contour because you don't want people to know you're contouring. Contouring is not supposed to be, oh, I can see everything. Baby, can you pack my stuff in that thing? Yeah, I already brushed my teeth this morning. Thank you. So then I go over all of the areas that I want to contour. Like, as you can see, you see how my contour is right there. It's looking amazing already. And you see how it's kind of like going up against that yellow shade? It just looks gorgeous. Like, yes, Jesus. Baby, I'm using that to record. What time is it? 11.40? Okay. But y'all, that's pretty much my tricks. Um, the next trick that I'm going to do is I'm literally going to set my entire face, okay? So the first thing I do, I'm basically done with my makeup. My baby is trying to um, pack up our stuff, which he does a really good job packing, so I'm going to let him do it. All right, so my next trick is your setting spray. You want to spray one more time before you even put on your powder. Like, you see, I just sprayed just a little bit, just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do... We're gonna let that dry on our skin. I'll go back in one more time with my yellow brush. Just to make sure my contour shade didn't um, go all over my highlight. Okay, so we're done with that. It's kind of dry. So my setting powder, Laura Mercier. Oh, I said it wrong, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Laura Mercier, this is translucent. Grab a fluffy brush. This is my fourth trick. I don't know what number I'm on right now. I get, grab a little bit, enough to say there's a lot of powder on the brush, a good bit of powder. And then I just go over it, the whole face. Now this is another trick I do. I really don't bring a whole bunch of different colored powders because what's the point? Translucent covers everything. I can set, I can bake, I can do everything with it. So. Translucent powder is the only powder I bring on with me to vacation. Do it again, swirl it, dab it. Another trick, I don't know if people really do this, but I have big ass lips, so. And look at that. I'm basically done setting my face basically done with the makeup literally only took me like 15 minutes now the only thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spray my spray one more time all over my skin and then we'll get to highlighting and i'll, I'll be done so my d6 spray one more time now look how look just look how yes let yes like, let me go on to some different lighting so y'all can see. Everything looks very good and highlighted and just beautiful, okay? So you guys will see in my videos and stuff, I'll post something after this. Um, oh, oopsie, right there. Okay, so I sprayed that. The last thing I have to do is highlight. The highlight I've been using my whole trip is Too Faced. Cranberry, 
cran cranny diamond whatever the hell this is yep that's the shade i've been using it is gorgeous on the skin and this is what the packaging looks like so if y'all see it in um sephora or something like that y'all can pick that up the gold one beautiful so this is my fenty beauty highlighting brush i'm not such a body bitch for my birthday of christmas and i just go right over that skin right there it's still semi damp from my setting spray which is what we want anyway and you guys probably noticed i didn't even contour my nose which is fine sometimes i contour it sometimes i don't when i feel like i really want to be extra I'll, I'll contour my nose but if it's just you know we're just going to the airport well, no and then the tip of this brush you see how it's got that angle go into that highlight sweep it over my eye and i don't do eyeshadow don't do none of that stuff you know why because it takes too long don't have time for that i don't have time for that my husband don't got time for that we don't got time for that so there we go highlight it all over now i'm gonna do one more thing and then i'm gonna be out and done highlighting brush sigma i'm going to grab my trophy wife y'all know what trophy wife it is y'all know what this is y'all know y'all should know yes Oh, I am. I love you. And what we're gonna do with this gold shade is go right over the forehead, bridge of the nose, and I'll dab some right here, right here, and right here. That is gonna kick up my highlight just a notch. So once I hit the sun, it's on the itch. And then I'll go over with my powder brush just to kind of blend it out because the more you blend out with this one the more stuff you're going to add on to your face and you don't you don't need all that okay so there we go and then highlight above my lip highlight my chin and pretty much i'm done now if you want to kick it up one more step now i'm supposed to be done <laughs> but one more step okay guys i'm gonna grab some of the trophy wipe with a little penciling brush dab that Tap it off. Put it right here. In your corners. Now today I'm not going to the beach or anything like that. So you won't see me glow up my body. But I skipped bringing my body lava and stuff like that. Like my Fenty products. Like I skipped bringing all of that. The body lavas and the, the powder puff and all that. I skipped all that. You know why? Because I didn't feel like traveling with that. I'm just being 100. I didn't feel like traveling with it. I felt like somebody was gonna try to take it from me and I didn't know how to package it in one of those little travel size bottles. So you know what the fuck I did? I brought this, my little Kabuki brush from Fenty. And this right here, I put this all over my body. I'm talking legs, chest, shoulders, everything. I even had my husband put this on my back when I was at the pool. Yup. So if you have hubby with you, your best friend, whoever, take your powder, girl. Put it on your back. Put it on your back, on your shoulders, everywhere. I'm telling you, you'll never, you'll, you'll, you won't say I can't disturb you wrong. You'll say I can't disturb you right because, girl, that mess was good. So, noticing my corner is in. Blend it out. Blend it out, girl. So I don't do mascara, I don't do eyeshadow, I don't do any of that stuff. And this is how I make sure it's done and done quick. Cause I don't do, the reason why I, I stopped doing eyeshadow honestly a long time ago, like you can look at all of my pictures on Instagram. I don't think you can find one for the last two years that has eyeshadow on it. And that's because it takes too much time. And this is exactly my, my makeup, my recording is only 20, 27 minutes long right now. And the reason why it's only that long is because I've been talking to y'all. Had I not been talking to y'all, my makeup would already been done. All right. And the lip, the lip gloss I'm using right now is Freya. And this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is, oh my God, this lip gloss is bomb. But y'all can see my makeup. Glowy as ever. Bye guys.